Badge yourself. Hey guys, it's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And this week is all about having some fun while reaching for glory as all of our stories do and do well. Kicking things off, we sit down with one of the bold and beautiful rural housewives of Miami. These Bravo reality starlets are definitely providing plenty of real life drama this season, along with that spicy attitude and personality that Miami women tend to exude. And leading this year's cast is the blonde Cuban bombshell, Alexia Echeverria. Now, while it might seem Alexia, a magazine editor by day, is on the show to strut her stuff, the truth is she's using her exposure on one of Cable's biggest hits to bring light to a cause that hits close to home. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Alexia Chavarria from Real Housewives of Miami. The show, of course, focuses on my personal life and on my professional life, and my professional life lies around Benny Magazine. Oh my God, how pretty. I know that the viewers and you know of reality TV stars, you know, they assume that we're like self-absorbed, that we only care about ourselves. I always wanted to use it as a platform for my magazine, you know, to give it the exposure that I that I needed at that time to take it to a different level. And I think I was able to attain that and, and to do that for the magazine. It wasn't because I wanted to see myself on TV or whatever. The girls in the show are very interesting. I get along with all of them, you know? I mean, of course, we're five opinionated, strong women, and that's why we're on the show. And they are really has an outcome to the gala every year. It's been like, like, blah, 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 I don't want to hear about it, I don't want to hear about it. We always have, you know, something to say, and you know, we agree to disagree. Whatever Alexia has with Leah really isn't a friendship. It's just kind of like keeping the water calm. She supports, she supports you. You can tell Hammy you don't want to go. This is a group of ladies that, you know, that if you don't bring the drama, they always bring the drama. They have always something to be, you know, bickering about. If you want to be played, you want to be played. Oh, you know what? She says everything to me. All right, so go have a good time. Getting on the bus. I think that my role in The Housewives hasn't changed much since season one when I originally started. I was always like the mother of the two boys and family oriented and. My family's always come first, and that's how it really is in my personal life. My mom was a psychiatrist, so you see her a lot on, on the show this season. I'm really happy that you're here now, because you've been so helpful with Frankie. Mm. That Frankie loves to stay with oh, you. Oh, Frankie likes to stay with me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> While it might seem Alexia Echevarria is strutting her glamorous beauty on The Real Housewives of Miami for the typical superficial reasons, the truth is she is using her exposure to bring awareness to a greater cause inspired by a tragic event that hit close to home. Frankie was in a car accident two years ago. He was a passenger in a car his friend was driving and the friend lost control of the car. I was depressed before the past year and stuff. Like, everything was like, terrible, you know, because of Frankie. Just from being, like, in a coma for six months, not saying a word, not speaking, not eating, I mean, that pain to see your son going through that is indescribable. My focus was on Frankie's recovery, and um, so then when I got home, I realized that I had to recover another child, which is Peter. Since his brother's accident, emotionally, He's just not all there, you know? Nice. We'll pay you back. <laughs> I had a mom that's watching the show that wrote me a really beautiful email, and I right away picked up the phone and called her, and she was so surprised that I would even call her personally. And I said, oh my God, how can I not? And it was so touching because she's like, you know, I see Frankie and I saw my son 10 years ago that was involved in a very serious accident as well. We've been so blessed, that's why I wanted to share it with everyone. You know, I wanted to give that message of hope, especially after you know you almost lose a son. It's like you don't even think about tomorrow. You have to just live you know, today, make the most of it, be happy, enjoy the, enjoy the moment. Hey, 